Hi everybody! Today I'll be talking about and doing a review on L'Oreal's True Match Magic Lumi Foundation. I've been using this for a couple weeks now, so I thought I'd go ahead and give you a review on it. To start off this video, let's first go to the demonstration so you can see how the foundation performs. Okay, and here you can see this is my skin without any foundation on. I'll just give you a quick little overview of that. And then I am pumping the foundation onto my Real Techniques stippling brush. I sped up this process because you all know how to apply foundation. I just stipple it on and then um, use a little bit of circular motions. It took me about two pumps to cover my entire face. Okay, on the left side is the after and the right side is the before. As you can tell, it has pretty medium to full coverage. And here's a look at my full face with my foundation, contour, and blush. To give you a little bit more information on the foundation, the shade that I wear is the W12 or Warm 12 and it's called Porcelain Light Ivory. And this I think matches my skin pretty perfectly. It's I think it might be one of the lightest foundations um, that they do have for the Magic Lumi. And I'm looking on the Walgreens website. One fluid ounce and the price at Walgreens is $12.49. Right now on the website it's showing that it you can get it for buy one get one half off. So that would be a really good deal if there's something else by L'Oreal that you like. You could do that and get a better deal that way. I love this foundation. I can't think of any negatives on it. I would say that it is a medium coverage but you can definitely build it up to full coverage. And as you saw in my video I like to use the pump, which I think it's awesome that it comes with the pump. I just pump it right onto my Real Technique stippling brush and just kind of, you know, do stippling motions as well as circular motions to really blend it in and work it into my skin. I wouldn't say that it's um, too glittery or shimmery, it just kind of um, leaves a nice finish. I don't depend on the foundation for my highlighted skin. I do always go in with another highlighter to add a little bit more, but I think that this foundation definitely gives you a really nice, healthy, um, kind of glowing looking finish to the skin. I should also mention that my skin type is more of a combination skin type. I do have some areas that can get just a little bit oily but not bad, and then I do have some dry areas as well. And I would say if you have oily skin or super oily skin, you might you might not like it, but always do you know um, an oil control primer, and then you could also set it with an oil control powder, and then maybe you could get away with it as well. As far as this foundation goes, I definitely would recommend it to most of you. Like I said, if you have oily skin, you'll just need to try a little bit more extra steps to keep it from getting too oily. If you have any more products that you want me to review or any ideas, please comment them down below. If you like reviews, then just please like this video so that I know. And if you want to see more videos from me, just be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you all soon. Bye!